Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up NordVPN on Linux Mint. Now, if you're not familiar with NordVPN is, this is a very popular VPN service for people who want to use the internet more securely and privately, and also for people who actually want to use services or applications in other countries without having to go there. Now, most people are using Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac. And so when it comes to downloading the application and setting it up on those operating systems, it's really super easy. Now, when it comes to Linux, things get a little bit more complicated because as anybody knows who uses Linux, there's so many different versions or distributions of Linux and the ways in which you install and set up things can be different. So in this case, I am focusing on Linux Mint, which is a Debian based operating system. So Ubuntu is Debian based and Linux Mint is based upon Ubuntu. And so in this case, NordVPN has some excellent instructions on how to set this up. And so I'm going to be going over the steps that I think are important for Linux Mint users. And so whenever you go to the website and you go to the download Linux section, you see steps on how to set this up on Linux Mint. And so the first thing you're going to do is actually download the dev file and then you're going to update and upgrade your patch list. And then finally, you're going to install NordVPN. So all the command line options are right here. And I highly recommend that you go to the website and get it there. Now, the next steps logging into NordVPN and connecting to the server is where you have some more options. So in this case, you can do it through the command line and then you can connect to the default server that's in your country but in my case i want to be able to choose different servers to connect to in different parts of the world and this is where things can get a little bit more complicated now in this case there are two main ways you could do this you could do this through using the linux network manager which is the way i'm going to show you or you can use the linux terminal now in this case as with most things that use the linux terminal the options get a little bit longer and the steps are definitely longer than doing it the way i'm going to show you and so in this case, you can definitely use the Linux terminal option if you're very comfortable with it. But at least for me, I find this a really long process, especially if I need to constantly switch between one VPN service to another, or if I just want to quickly get to that VPN service without going through the command line and then finding the right server to put in the command line to run. And so that is the first thing. And so now let me show you how we do this. And so the first thing that you actually want to do is go to the servers section of the NordVPN website, and then you're going to go to recommended server. And so in this case, it's going to tell you what the recommended server is for your country. But this is what's cool. You can go down here to the drop down, and you can choose from a variety of servers all around the world. So I'm going to choose India because I do love Bollywood videos and uh, lots of entertainment out there. So I'm going to be choosing the India servers. Now, here is the really important part. You're going to go down here to show available protocols. And here you could download the config file for OpenVPN. Now, there's two options. There's OpenVPN UDP and TCP. And NordVPN recommends you download the UDP version, although either one will work. I'm going to go ahead and download this UDP config file. And we'll go ahead and download that. And then we'll go to my downloads. And there is the NordVPN UDP configuration file for India servers. So once you have that, you can now set this up using your network manager. So we'll go up here. And then uh, I already have some VPN connections, but let's go ahead and pretend like I don't have those. I'm going to go down here to network connections. And you're going to go down here to this plus sign. And then here you're going to choose a connection type. Use the drop down and go all the way to the bottom and you see a section for VPN. There's open VPN point to point, and then there's import a save VPN configuration, which is what we want. So I'm going to choose that. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to create. And then you're going to go to the folder where you downloaded your VPN config file. Here it is. We're going to say open. And here you're going to need to put in your username and password for your Nord VPN account. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay. So once you put that in and you saved it, you will now see it as a VPN option. And then you could go ahead and close this. And if you go back up here to network manager, here's the cool part. All you have to do is choose the actual server that you want to connect to. Let's say I want to choose this Indian one and here pretty soon it's going to show that it is connected. There it is. VPN connection has been successfully established. 
and you'll see right here it's connected to the server in India and you could also confirm this as well so on NordVPN's website I could go down here to the bottom and there's this thing called IP lookup okay and there it is I'm in Mumbai and you can use other IP lookup services as well and it also tells you that it is protected meaning it's going through NordVPN's servers now that is really easy to do and I could set up multiple VPN connections as you can see here and at least for me I use it primarily for entertainment and so you've probably seen this before where you know you go to Netflix and Netflix is all around the world but lots of their shows and TVs they're not available everywhere and so certain countries get different shows so this is the default I'm in the United States but now if I refresh this uh, I should be in another country all right now I'm in India <laughs> and the thing is uh, since you are going through VPN network uh, things are going to be a little bit slower and it also depends heavily on your internet connection but as you can see here we are now in India the trending and everything it's all based upon the country that you're in and now I'm able to watch things that I definitely could not in the United States and the great thing is you know Netflix has a lot of international content and depending on which country you're in you're going to be able to see even more content for that country and so I really enjoy watching you know movies and shows all around the world and I absolutely love the fact that I'm able to do this you know um, and so that is just a real simple example of what you can do with VPN and also how easy it is to actually uh, set this up in Linux Mint and switch from server to server and so let's say for example I want to go to a Korean server I'm going to try this one for serious YouTubers check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below and it should connect okay I'm going to disconnect first all right it's disconnected and let's go ahead and connect to the Korean server because uh, I also love Korean entertainment so now it's connected yep and then we'll go ahead and uh, refresh this IP lookup and now I'm in Seoul Korea <laughs> and if I go back to Netflix and let's go ahead and refresh this page again and let's see what type of entertainment we're able to watch and now we're in South Korea <laughs> this is so awesome now obviously depending on the application that you use there could be some limitations for example Netflix they do have ways in which they could find out where you're logging into and at times whenever you are watching things on Netflix um, it'll actually block you from watching it if they know you're looking at this from a VPN service and so uh, the good thing is um, NordVPN and other VPN services they have a lot of different IP or servers that they're able to use and so normally this isn't a big problem but I just thought I'd put it out there so that is it on how to set up NordVPN on Linux Mint um, I really feel that if you are the type of person who does value your security online and you do want to have access to other services and applications in other countries then I think this is a great choice and if this is something that you wanted, then uh, you can support my channel and you can check out the link in the description area below. And if you actually had any other thoughts on these VPN services, be sure to leave that in the comments area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.